welcome to our YouTube channel. Today is a very special day. It happens to be my dad's birthday. So I went next level. My good friend, Cuz, Cuz. Steve Matarano, the godfather of Italian American cooking, the best, my favorite, has come and uh, 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 done me the honor of being in the home. And sure. we are getting down here at Casa Lopez with an incredible Italian meal. I'm so excited. Ready, Cuz? Ready, Cuz. He's Ready. gonna show us, give us a little sneak peek at how it gets done. All right, Cuz, this is what we're doing for your father. Okay. This is a this is a good South Philly Italian American meal. We're gonna make eggplant stack, which is your wife's favorite, and yes. your wife's favorite. Yes, it is, personal favorite, that's next level. Then we're gonna do a, a Bucatino mustard chow. Oh. That's from the gel de pig, the guanciale. Okay. With Sierra Manzano tomato. We're gonna have that, and then we're gonna have a chicken on the bone, cacciatore style. Yes. And then a veal chopped parmesan with a mozzarella, Sierra Manzano tomatoes, and a lot of pecorino romano cheese. This is like not no. even my dad. This is I'm living vicariously through my dad in this meal. It's, a it's the meal. best. Yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about Cuz. The only, only chef, you don't like to be called chef because he's a humble guy. I know, but the food's next level. That cooks and spins at the same time. With like a DJ and a chef at the same time. It's unbelievable. So Cuz, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. Well, a couple of dads who like to hang out in the kitchen. Come in, Stern. So, how, how you doing, my man? How you doing? Good, 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 you good, know, good. You know how highly I speak to this guy. Of course, we talk about him a lot. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. What is Juan this is One chow. One chow. For bucatini mustard chow. Now, you could use pancetta, which is Italian bacon, but this comes from the gel of the pig. It's got Ooh. so much flavor. It has a lot of fat. He's the fat, fat, right? Cuz you can and eat the raw. Fat. Just yes. You can yes. eat a raw. That's can I? Flavor is right. No, should it's I not? Fat. I just want to try. Wait, no, should no, I wash no, my no. hands? Here, here, I wash my hands. I'm gonna wash my hands. Go wash your hands. Alright, cuz I'm all washed all right, up. Right. Now just grab a little piece. Remember, it's cured. Okay. Take it. Take a bite of it. Chew it. You taste the fat. Fat's got flavor. It melts in your mouth, and when you cook it, it melts like butter. It's like charcuterie. Absolutely. Now look. These tomatoes, when they come in the can. They're a hole. Now, you gotta squeeze it with your hands. Now, you gotta really squeeze it. You, you gotta get, get in and there. try that? I'll get in there. I'll ah, get in there. I just washed. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. I just, just squeeze them. Yeah. And this is going good. This is grandmother's style, this right? This is grandmother's style. This is grandmother. Right. So, because you'd be but, proud of us because Stearns and I, Stearns is a, is a guest today for um, uh, my dad's uh, party, and, and I asked him to come a little early because, you know, we're trying to get our act together in the kitchen. We want to learn from <laughs> the well, best. Learn a few tips from our own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So by the way, keep an eye out for Dads in the Kitchen. You'll be seeing that on our channel. <laughs> a couple of Dads in the Kitchen. Sir Mozano tomatoes. Not everyone is legit. There's a lot of fagazis out there. Fagazis in Italian means fake. Even though it says Sir Mozano tomatoes, there might be a tomato in here that's from Italy. There could be one or two Sir Mozano's in the can and they can call it that. It's not for me. This is the label. This is a certificate that says this is the authenticity of this tomato. Must have this stamp. If it don't have that stamp, it's a fagazi. It's a fake. Don't buy it. Tomatoes in Italy are great. Doesn't have to. But to me, this is the king of kings. The reason why, it has that soil. Not every part of Italy has that kind of volcano soil. That's what makes this sweet. It's picked right. The flavor, you can eat it raw right out of the can. Okay, cuz we're gonna make veal chops parmesan. I got these in Italy, here in LA, which yeah. the meat's nice, has a little fat on it, should give it some flavor. The trinity in, in Italian American cooking, at least with my mother, was always garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. That's okay? the holy trinity. Uh, when, when, we, <laughs> when we season Italians, we use our hands, and some people like to use the shakers, but the Italians like to use their hands. I'm gonna use my hands, I'm gonna make you use your hands, but when it comes to the pepper, because I don't want to mess this up, so I'm going to make you use this, okay? All right. So, what we want to do, give me a hand. I'm, well, I'll tell you what, you watch me. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch you. I got salt in my hand. Okay. That don't mean use it all, right? Yeah. Just hold it up high and sprinkle. Okay. And you throw it over your shoulder. Like good too, luck. Right? Good so luck. you do that. You got that, all right? All right. Don't be afraid of how much, because then you can put it down. Oh, okay. Keep it up high. Keep it up high. Sprinkle. Hey, watch. Keep going. Okay. You're good. That's You're good. good. Garlic pepper. Over your I shoulder. Over the good shoulder. Luck. We ain't going to do this. Your wife will kill us. <laughs> so we got some garlic, garlic powder up okay. high. You don't want it. You don't want to do this because then it's too clumpy. Okay. Put it up high and just sprinkle. Do the Put same it up thing. High and sprinkle. Okay. Here we go. Don't be afraid. All right. Keep it up high. Put sprinkle it up high. around. 
Good, good. Is that good? Okay. Now, that was too much. That you was too much? Sure. Yes, so, I saw it. I got, I got, so it's okay, I got aggressive. No, no, fine. I so, thought I was Italian. You are. You're Italian, you are. <laughs> but normally, what we do is we would bread both sides, okay? okay? Now, since you put too much, that would be mine. That would be mine. We would do the other one this way. You wouldn't put no garlic because you had enough for that. Got it. Okay. Got it. And the garlic and the black pepper you do, me, I'm going to go like this. But I want you to just scrape a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. You know what you're doing? A little more. A little more. Okay. I don't want to get too. Done. You're beautiful, right? This one, no. No, no. You can put it on here. Put it on my hands too. There we go. Is that good? Done. Perfect. Done. Okay. Now, we got seasoned bread crumb, seasoned flour. A wash. Now, A wash has fresh parsley, Italian parsley, non American, Romano cheese, salt, and pepper. And we have the breadcrumbs. That's Romano cheese or Parmesan, whatever you like, and parsley. Okay. You got two hands. If you get them both dirty, you're, 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 you're messed up, right? So try to keep one hand and do both. So you would do this. Okay. Hit this with flour. This is me doing it, right? I'm doing yeah. it. You're going to do the next one, right? Okay. I'm going to hit it in the A wash. So make sure it's covered, right? Really. Hands still clean this one. So if anything happens, the phone rings, you're all right. Yeah. And the bread crumbs. Now you get your hand. Get and in you there. pound it down. I love how intimate yes, it is. Yes. And when you're done with this or any breading, put it in the refrigerator for like a half hour. The breadcrumbs stay nice and firm. Okay. So then you take this, pound it off, move it to the side. Okay. okay. And it's clean. Right? Assembly. And it's clean. Line. This one's good. Good. You got this one. I said, you got it. It's only food, cuz. You're done. Right? Got his hands clean, right? Yes. So you know, yeah, look at that. Now you wash your hands or move on to something. Yes. And we move on. Like, seriously, cuz. Pound for pound. Am I one of the biggest eaters you've ever seen? Cuz, when you, when, you, when you come, heavyweight. Cuz, heavyweight. You title holder. No kidding around. See, title holder, right? Eat, eat, eat cuz, and I don't work, cuz. I, I know you work out a lot. But I don't know where you put it, but you <laughs> scuff it down, cuz. Scuff it down. Yeah, because it's really so good. Does. <laughs> That's real talk. Salute. 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 Marsha going, what up, Marsha? Hi. Marsha got cameras in the front and the back of her. Damn. Oh, oh! Alright guys, well I just want to say thank you so much for uh, taking the time to, to come over. Uh, I really appreciate it, uh, meeting for my dad's birthday. Woo! Unfortunately, it just, just Julie noted my mom got sick or else she would have been here. Um, so, you know, shout out to mom. But uh, we, we've been crazy this last month and, and work has been kind of kicking my ass, but I always make it a priority to kind of take a time out and um, share a moment with family and friends. So I appreciate you taking the time out. I know Friday night it, it gets a little tough to carve it out. We all got families and kids and stuff. So. Thank you for taking the time. And now I'm going to hand it over to my dad so he can oh, give his birthday yeah. toast. Oh, yeah. 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 Go ahead, Dad. 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 Well, stand up, Dad. Stand up. You stand up. No? Well, stand up. Come on, Theo. Stand up. Take, a, take, a, take a drink if you want. Mm -hmm. Easier. Mm -hmm. Take a drink. Mm -hmm. Take a drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take a drink. Mm -hmm. Could use it, right? Oh, you got a drink. What do you mean? I said I could use it, right? All right, all right. Take your Take your time. Take your time. Go ahead. When I reach this time, it's my birthday and everything. Is uh. I found out that um, the most important thing is your health, your family, mm. you know? And um, I'm not a religious person, but I think God blessed me with uh, two great, talented kids, plus six beautiful grandkids. You guys are about to enjoy an amazing dinner. 
the godfather of Italian American cooking, my dear friend Steve Matarano, all the way from Fall, Florida, came here, and he's gonna get down tonight. So he's an awesome guy, and uh, I'm glad. He's here. Bugatini Mastrichiano and Pecorino Romano cheese, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. That's a dish of macaroni, cuz. That's a dish of macaroni. And my favorite. Enjoy. People call this chicken cacciatore, we say chicken on the bone, cuz. And Monoran is now at the Lopez house. Alright, cuz, this is the Monorana salad. The key to the salad is the dressing. You've got to have great red wine vinegar. We use called the bone. A great extra virgin olive oil. But there's another key secret to this dish that brings it to another level. I'm not telling you. Forget about it. I'm not telling you. I hope you enjoyed a little sneak peek from our man Steve Matarano's food. It's magic. He's a magician. You're not a cook. You're a magician. magician. He's a magician over there. Thank you. And please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, tell us, uh, what Italian dishes do you want to see Stearns and I cook in the future, too? Mwah. Manja. Grazie.